Y'all want to know something? First of all, hey y'all. But y'all want to know something that really irritates my soul? Let me tell y'all. What irritates my soul is the fact... Well, there are a couple of things that irritate my soul. One of them is... I cannot be consistent with this vlogging. Like... The vlogger in me wants to come to you guys all the time and vlog like I'm supposed to. But I be living life and I be forgetting to pick up the camera. And you probably like, Key, that's part of vlog and it's telling people or showing people your everyday life. Yeah, I'm not consistent. So I ain't gonna have a lot of y'all. My videos are gonna be sporadic, but I'm gonna try. And I mean this from the bottom of my heart. I'm going to try to post something for y'all once a week. Even if it's like 15 minutes of vlogging or just some content, whatever. I'm going to try to do something for you guys. Because I love y'all. The second thing I hate is when scammers call your phone and they say, we have suspended, this is the federal whatever, and we have suspended your social security number. First of all, social security office will never call you. Unless you have an appointment with them and they'll send you a letter showing that you, your appointment time. And then if you don't believe it's them when they send a letter, you can still call and verify the 1-800 social security number and call and verify that you have an appointment with them. Second of all, the social security number people don't suspend your social security number. That's your number forever and ever and ever, ever. And that's on sorry, Miss Jackson. And we still don't know what he had did altogether. Now... I'm the type of person, if you call me on some scam stuff, talking about you going to suspend my social security number, I'm going to need your district attorney number. And then I'm going to need you to tell me what state you're in. So when you call me from a Fort Lauderdale number and you're really from Texas, and you saying you calling me from Texas, red flags go up, number one. But number two, I already know you're a scam. But when I ask for your district attorney and your attorney general numbers, and who's your police of chief, and you can't answer none of them questions. You got to get off my phone. Because see, I play games too when I have time. Normally I've been a custom app. But I like to play games sometimes. So I just I just go through the shenanigans with them. Because that's what I do. But hey y'all. I just had to get that off my chest. Because these people would try your life. Y'all. And I'm trying to debate if I'm going to take my hair down. My hair do not... These styles, I love this style so much. Like, this is one of my favorite, favorite styles. But for some reason, it don't never last on me. And I don't know what I be doing wrong. As you can see, my hair is coming out of here. And it has nothing to do with my hair braider. Because she a beast at what she do. And she be having me looking on point. It's just, I don't know. Because I'm not taking care of it properly. Or what, but my hair never lasts. So. But I am at home, chilling by myself. And I said, let me go pick up the camera real quick because I ain't picked up the camera and talked to y'all in a minute. So, I'm waiting for the kids to get home. They don't get home till like 4 the four o'clock. And then my future left to go take care of some business. And then, you know, I got to drop Audrey off at work. She's still holding on to her job. Yeah, I'm so proud of her. I gotta drop her off at work, pick up some groceries from Kroger's because Saturday I got to taste for breakfast for some breakfast pork chops and some grits and some toast and some eggs. I got to taste for it, so that's what I'm gonna make. But today I'm not cooking because yesterday I cooked and I made some smothered chicken and gravy with rice, some green beans with sausage in it, and what else I made? Some roasted garlic ranch potatoes. And we had rolls, so I'm not cooking today. So I'm going to Farmer's Market, one of, another favorite spot when I want some soul food. I want something that's going to stick to us and have us full. I typically go to spots like that. And I'm going to go get, I got to taste for some fried chicken, some yams, some macaroni and cheese with a side of cabbage. And whatever Lou Red going to get. Audrey will be at work, so um, she'll eat while she'll work. And then Babe, he wants smothered pork chops, macaroni and cheese, and yams. So, oh, and Jacory, y'all, Jacory Holly Beer. He done got him a little girlfriend, child, so he be at her house a lot. You know, he was trying to pull that stunt. Somebody he was finna move in with little mama. She she's sweet as pie. I like her, but you ain't finna move in with her right now. You finna get to know her, and then we can talk about you moving in with her. But right now, 
Mm -mm. So he be at his girlfriend house chilling on his days off. So it just be me. But yeah, y'all, I'm just sitting here doing nothing. As always, like it's COVID, so it really ain't nowhere to go. And really, it ain't nowhere to shop. And I'm at a place mentally where I like being at home now. Like, um, y'all know how I used to be on the go, go, go. I always had somewhere to go, something to do. I really calm that down. I really genuinely like being at home now. So I be at home. And then, like, if I want to see my people, like, I'll probably set up a brunch. Or I'll go to their house. But as far as, like, going places, i really been on some chill type stuff. But I do have some activities coming up in October. So, y'all stay tuned for that. Because we will be moving around a little bit in October. But for the most part, I've just been chilling at home. I really don't be wanting to go nowhere. Like, I be getting invited to uh, events and, uh, a, you know, little things that be going on. And I don't never go. Because I just enjoy being home. I don't know what it is. But... You can't pay me to move around as of lately. Oh, y'all, in my new obsession. Let me show y'all my new obsession. Lemon heads. Not the regular lemon heads. It got to be these big booga boogles right here. Lemon heads and tostita chips with salsa has been my new addiction. So, yeah. And then I'm really trying to detox today because yesterday I had a soda. And I need to get that soda up out of my body. But yeah, y'all, I really don't be doing nothing because it just ain't nothing to do right now. And like, not because I'm scared of COVID because my whole family is vaccin vaccinated, even though that don't stop you from catching COVID because you vaccinated. It just makes some people, it help with the, the symptoms. But it's not because of COVID or anything. It's just because when you're in a place of peace, you really don't be wanting to do nothing or go nowhere because you find solace in your home. And it took me a long time to find solace in my home. And I finally have peace. And I just, I really enjoy being in the house and just chilling with my family. Like, you can normally now catch me in my living room after work, after I got settled, downstairs, watching TV, chilling. And I don't know if that's because of the person that I'm with. Because he's so calming and he's so, he, he just, he's just a calm spirit. So when you have that type of peace and that type of energy around you, you don't feel the need to go jet the door every time something going on or, you know, whatever. You'd be more inclined to stay home. Like, y'all know at first with, oh boy, I was gone, gone, gone all the time. I, and that's because I was running away from the situation that's what i learned by myself i was running away from the situation so a lot of times i would be on the go and a lot of people you know they like y'all look so happy i was always smiling but i was kind of really over it and i just didn't know how to end it and then when that transpired on um, what he did that gave me like a reason to end it so it's like once i ended that and i started a new chapter in my life and i started dating again and then i met my boo that i'm with now um everything just seemed better i i feel happier i feel more content i feel more at peace like i prayed that's another thing y'all gotta start manifesting what y'all want in life like i really manifested peace and I have this peace like I've never had before. Like, even when things transpire or happen in my life, I have learned how to deal with those things and be at peace with them and know that some things are not in my control. And it helps to have a mate that has that same mind frame because when things transpire, you have somebody that can pray with you and pray for you. So that makes a lot of difference too. And just my home is just a peaceful place. So I don't do anything or go anywhere. But a lot of you guys have been asking me to bring back my cooking videos. So I will be doing that. I just, I don't know y'all. You know how you just get in a place of not wanting to do nothing. 
not want to pick up the camera. That's kind of how I was for a while. I didn't want to pick up the camera. I didn't want to do nothing. So I didn't. And then I felt like I was forced to pick up the camera because I felt like I had to bring some content or give y'all some type of content. And I don't feel that anymore. So now I know if I make a video, it's genuinely because I want to. Um, and it helps to have somebody that um, kind of encourages you and really supports you in that aspect. I don't know. And then I kind of feel like if this was my main income, then I probably feel obligated to pick up a camera. But because this is not my source of income, and probably never will be, because this is not my source of income, I don't feel obligated to pick up the camera. I just pick it up when I want to, you know, and I, I don't know. And I just, I hate that a lot of times certain things go on in my life and I don't share them with you. Not that I'm going to share everything with y'all because everything not y'all business. And that's just being honest. I'm not going to share everything with you guys. But some things I be wanting to share with y'all, but I be in the moment of living it that I don't pick up the camera and do it. So I'm trying to get back in that place where I'm picking the camera back up. I'm being consistent because I actually want to do it. I got so many reviews coming to you guys, some wig reviews. I've been buying wigs, 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 and I have not came to review these wigs with you guys. So I want to do that. So we got a lot of catching up to do. Um, and a lot of these wigs may be old to y'all, but they new to me. Um, and I'm just going to start taking y'all along more and letting y'all experience what I'm experiencing. Um, I don't have no drama. So don't be looking for that. And even if I had drama, I don't think I would put all of it on camera, you know, because social media can be mean. And they will come for you, honey. And I'm not the type of person. I'm not no internet gangster. I'm not going back and forth with nobody. I will block you before I argue with you. That's just how I handle things. I'm not going to sit up here and try to prove nothing to nobody. Argue with nobody. Be mad about something you said. I'm not doing none of that. But what I have found that it's some internet gangsters on here. And they will try to come for your neck. And they will try to look down on you. Because you, you're handling certain things in your life. In a way that you choose to handle them. And I've seen it from like bigger YouTubers that go through things and they come for those bigger YouTubers and try to make them feel less than. And thank goodness that a few of them are really strong so it doesn't really bother them. But I never want to be in that place where the social media, internet <laughs> makes me sad. <laughs> So I have to protect my peace at all costs. And I, before I give up my chaos, my peace for chaos, I just won't come on here, honey. Because I am the happiest I have been in a long, long time. A lot of times, too, if you don't catch me on YouTube, you definitely can catch me on Facebook. You can definitely catch me on Instagram because I'm always posting different looks on Instagram. Um, just because I love clothes. So... You might catch what I'm wearing that day. I might take a picture and post it. But for the most part, I just I ain't really just been picking up the camera like that. But I will start back. Y'all have my word. I will start back. I just, I didn't want to feel obligated to do it. I wanted to do it because I genuinely have a love for it. And when I first started, I genuinely had a love for it. And then it became like an obligation. And now I've, I'm back at that place in my life where I feel happy about doing it. I actually want to vlog. I actually want to share things with you guys. So yeah. Um y'all know me. If y'all don't see my children or my dude on here, that's because I give them a choice. They film when they want to film, when they don't want to film. I don't push that on them because this is my choice to vlog. And although this is a family vlog it is still their right and their choice to get in front of the camera. And I'm not pushing our camera in my family face to appease nobody. So there may be vlogs where it's just me and you. And there may be vlogs where it's me and the kids. And it may be vlogs where it's just me and him. And it may be vlogs where it's all of us. But I let them pick and choose. Y'all know Lil Red. He not for the camera. He get in when he wants to get in. But for the most part, y'all know Lil Red not going to get in front of no camera. So don't really just look for him like that. My boo, he kind of go with what I go with. He cool with it. So that's what I like because he really supports um, my channel. He really supports me. Audrey, I got no Audrey got her moves. Some days she want to see y'all. Some days she don't want to. And I let them choose that. Ja'Cory, Ja'Cory, he, he picks and chooses too. And I, I allow them that choice. 
um, because that is a choice. I see a lot of people make their kids get in a vlog or they push the camera in their face and those kids don't really want to be in the camera. I'm not that parent. I'm not going to do it just so I can have bigger views and stuff. So yeah, I just want to come tell you guys, I am back. I am going to start trying to be consistent. I will at least put out some content once a week. And whether it's a vlog, whether it's a cooking segment, whether it's a haul, at least one video. I'm going to try to go for two a week, but I can at least promise you one one video a week. I can promise you that. So y'all stay tuned and I will see you guys in the next vlog. I love you guys and I appreciate y'all supporting me and watching and having your girl back. And I will continue to come on here and share what I share with you guys. So until next time, bye. Budget for February, our goals for February. Um, what I plan on doing different for February. So this is our February um, 